Are you managing your type 2 diabetes with metformin and think you know all there is to know about its side effects? You might be surprised. While many are familiar with the initial digestive adjustments, there are other, less talked about effects this common medication can have on your body. This video will explore seven such side effects. Knowing about these possibilities can help you stay proactive about your health and work effectively with your doctor. First, vitamin B12 deficiency. One side effect of metformin that doesn't always make the top of the list is its potential impact on vitamin B12 levels. Studies suggest that long-term metformin use can interfere with the absorption of this essential vitamin in the small intestine. It's estimated that somewhere between 10 and 30% of individuals taking metformin experience a decrease in their B12 levels. This deficiency can develop gradually over months or even years. The symptoms of B12 deficiency can be subtle at first, including fatigue, weakness, and a tingling or numbness in the hands and feet. More severe or prolonged deficiency can lead to neurological issues and anemia. Because these symptoms can sometimes be mistaken for other conditions or even general feelings of being unwell. It's important for individuals on long-term metformin therapy to be aware of this potential complication. Your doctor may recommend periodic B12 level testing, especially if you begin to experience any of these symptoms. If a deficiency is detected, supplementation with oral or injectable B12 is usually effective in restoring levels. Being proactive about monitoring your B12 can help prevent more serious health consequences down the line. 2. Changes in taste. Another less frequently discussed side effect of metformin is a change in taste perception, often described as a metallic taste in the mouth. While not as common as gastrointestinal issues, this altered sense of taste can be bothersome for some individuals. It's believed that metformin might interact with taste receptors or alter saliva composition, leading to this unusual sensation. The prevalence of this side effect isn't precisely known, but anecdotal reports suggest it affects a small percentage of users. This metallic taste can sometimes affect the enjoyment of food and may even lead to a decreased appetite in some cases. For most people, this side effect is mild and may subside over time as the body adjusts to the medication. However, if the altered taste is persistent or significantly impacts your quality of life or nutritional intake, it's worth discussing with your healthcare provider. They can assess whether the metallic taste is indeed related to the metformin or if there might be another underlying cause. In some instances, Adjusting the timing of the medication or trying a different formulation might help alleviate this side effect. 3. Skin Reactions While not a primary concern for most individuals taking metformin, skin reactions can occur in some cases. These reactions can manifest in various ways, including rashes, itching, and redness. It's estimated that skin-related side effects occur in less than 2% of people taking metformin. These reactions are generally mild and may resolve on their own or with simple treatments like over-the-counter antihistamines or topical creams. However, it's crucial to be aware of any new skin changes that develop after starting metformin. In rare instances, a more severe allergic reaction could occur, requiring immediate medical attention. If you experience a significant rash, swelling, difficulty breathing, or other signs of a severe allergic reaction, seek medical help right away. While skin reactions are not a typical side effect of metformin, being vigilant and reporting any unusual changes to your doctor is always recommended to ensure your safety and well-being. 4. Lactic acidosis. Although rare, it's important to mention the risk of lactic acidosis, a serious condition that can occur with metformin use. 
Lactic acidosis is a buildup of lactic acid in the bloodstream and is more likely to occur in individuals with pre-existing kidney or liver problems, severe heart failure, or those who experience significant dehydration. The incidence of metformin-associated lactic acidosis is estimated to be around five cases per 100,000 person years. Symptoms of lactic acidosis can be nonspecific and may include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, rapid breathing, and an overall feeling of being very unwell. While the risk is low, it's crucial for both patients and healthcare providers to be aware of the risk factors and symptoms. Doctors typically screen patients for kidney function before starting metformin and may monitor it periodically during treatment. Staying well hydrated and informing your doctor about any significant changes in your health, especially those affecting your kidneys or liver, is essential to minimize this rare but serious risk. 5. Potential interactions with other medications. Metformin can interact with other medications, potentially increasing the risk of certain side effects or altering the effectiveness of either drug. For example, certain diuretics can increase the risk of dehydration, which, as mentioned earlier, can elevate the risk of lactic acidosis in susceptible individuals. Some medications can also affect blood sugar levels, potentially counteracting the effects of metformin. It's estimated that over 40% of adults in the United States take multiple prescription medications, making the risk of drug interactions a significant concern. Therefore, it is absolutely crucial to provide your healthcare provider with a complete list of all medications you are taking, including over the counter drugs and supplements. This will allow them to assess potential interactions and make necessary adjustments to your treatment plan. Don't hesitate to ask your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions about potential drug interactions with metformin. Open communication with your healthcare team is vital for safe and effective diabetes management. 6. Impact on bone health. Emerging research suggests a potential link between long-term metformin use and bone mineral density. While the exact mechanisms are still being investigated, some studies have indicated that individuals taking metformin may have a slightly lower bone mineral density compared to those not on the medication. It's important to note that the clinical significance of this finding is still unclear, and the majority of people on metformin do not experience fractures or significant bone health issues. However, it raises an interesting point for ongoing research and discussion. Factors such as the duration of metformin use, dosage, and individual patient characteristics may play a role. Observational study indicated a slightly increased risk of certain types of fractures in individuals who had been taking metformin for over 10 years. If you have other risk factors for osteoporosis or have concerns about your bone health, it's a good idea to discuss this potential association with your doctor. They can assess your individual risk and recommend appropriate monitoring or preventative measures if necessary. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle with adequate calcium and vitamin D intake, along with regular weight-bearing exercise, remains crucial for bone health, regardless of diabetes medication. 7. Magnesium levels. Another area of emerging research involves the potential impact of metformin on magnesium levels in the body. Magnesium is an essential mineral involved in numerous bodily functions, including blood sugar control, nerve function, and muscle function. Some studies have suggested that metformin might affect magnesium absorption or increase its excretion. While the evidence is not yet conclusive and the clinical implications are still being explored, even a small reduction in magnesium levels over time could potentially have subtle effects on various physiological processes. It's estimated that up to 15% of individuals with type 2 diabetes may already have lower 
than optimal magnesium levels even before starting metformin. Symptoms of mild magnesium deficiency can include muscle cramps, fatigue, and irritability, which can sometimes overlap with other diabetes-related symptoms. More research is needed to fully understand the relationship between metformin and magnesium levels. However, being aware of this potential interaction can prompt individuals to ensure they are consuming a magnesium-rich diet, including foods like leafy green vegetables, nuts, and seeds. If you experience persistent muscle cramps or other symptoms of magnesium deficiency, discussing your concerns with your healthcare provider may be beneficial. So, while gastrointestinal issues are the most commonly discussed side effects of metformin, it's important to remember that other less frequent but significant effects can occur. These include vitamin B12 deficiency, changes in taste, skin reactions, the rare risk of lactic acidosis, potential interactions with other medications, and emerging links to bone health and magnesium levels. Being aware of these possibilities empowers you to be more informed about your treatment and to communicate effectively with your healthcare team. You might also want to watch this video on understanding your diabetes medications. Please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.